So you're thinking about getting into RVing, and the first thing you think is, I need to get a truck. Then you look at truck prices, and you think, well, maybe next year. But this episode's about other tow vehicle options. In our previous episodes, you may have noticed that we don't tow with a truck. Today is all about our tow vehicle, why we chose it, what we like about it, and what we don't like about it. So come on with us, it's gonna be great. activities all right so then the next thing I just want to give some of the specs this van is a uh, 2017 Chevy Express 3500 so it's what they used to call a one-ton truck uh, although the cargo capacity is way more than one ton um, we have uh, seating for 15 so there's two captain chairs and then three rows of three and a final row which isn't in right now that can seat four so really a ton of uh, passenger space and then if you take the seats out, a ton of cargo space. We did, uh, because we wanted the one ton truck, we got the 6.0 liter V8. So it's the biggest engine that they have. And I think this van, among all the vans that we looked at, whether it was the Ford uh, Transits or the Nissan Envys, this van has the highest towing capacity of any van, at least at that time. I'm not sure if that's still true. Um, the tow capacity, speaking of that, is 9,600 pounds or 10,000 pound trailer maximum. Uh, so that's, you know, that's going to get most of your travel trailers uh, that are out there pretty much. Um, and, you know, even ones that are as big as ours and have a bunk house and, uh, and tanks and everything. It's, it's pretty good capacity. The van from front bumper to back, though, is 20 feet long. So you take a, like our travel trailer is about 35 feet, uh, including the, the tongue and you add another 20 feet of van on there, we're 55 feet of, of vehicle going down the road. Uh, the, the payload, I talked about this with people and cargo, the total payload is 4,120 pounds. So tons of opportunity. Um, you know, our family doesn't, doesn't take up all of that. We can bring uh, luggage and, and equipment and tools and bikes and, and um, food and coolers and all that without any problems. Um, our we talked about gas mileage. We get about 11 miles per gallon, not towing in the city, and about 17 miles per gallon uh, on the highway. Uh, that's again, not towing. Towing, it drops pretty bad down to about eight and a quarter, eight and a half uh, when we have the trailer hooked up. All right, so what does Stella like about the van? I like that it has space for me to lie down. That's it. And, all my and the parks. Are, and all my people are in it. So She's many smiling. parks. <laughs> Two captain chairs in the front and then there are four benches the first three each sit three people the back bench isn't out right now I'll go around back there and show you in a minute um, we take it out sometimes because we don't always need the full passenger coverage uh, but basically the van is pretty simple but it gets the job done everything's just functional we did when we bought the van uh, have a um, trailer brake installed so that we are controlling the trailer uh, and there is a backup camera on the van 
course, that doesn't help when the trailer's on. We don't have any kind of attachment for the trailer, uh, backup cameras, but just the van. The um, seats are pretty good size for larger kids. Uh, plenty of room to spread out. And sometimes there's just five of us in this van. So mom and dad in the front seats and each kid gets their own bench. Lots of room to spread out on road trips with uh, room behind the last bench that we have in right now for cargo and the dog. So we put a lot of materials back there. Uh, and that's definitely one of the advantages we do find with the van. Okay, in the back here, uh, you can see the seats just kind of come in and out pretty easily. They're uh, lock in and then you unlatch them to remove them. But right now we have the back seat out. So we get all this cargo space with just one seat out. Uh, and we can bring, we lay the dog bed right here typically and then lots of room for suitcases or coolers or even bikes or kayaks. Um, sometimes if we're bringing a lot of equipment, we'll take that next bench out and it still leaves us um, seating for eight. So <laughs> there's just so much room uh, in the van. And then one other thing we did add, uh, this very simple little um, tow mirror attachment right here. So the base mirror is this part, and then we went and added this uh, little tow mirror attachment. It's all manual, no, no automatic, but um, does the job. Gets us better visibility for towing. Okay, so there's definitely some things we like about the van. Number one on the list is it's a great people mover. I mean, it's huge. This thing seats 15 people. I always say you can bring your family and like 10 of your best friends and um, seat them pretty comfortably. I mean, it, you could set 15 adults in there mm -hmm. uh, with all that room. So that I would say is definitely one of the first things we like. About one of the other things we love about the van is all the cargo space, right, Mayor? Yeah, definitely. Um, you can take out a seat or two or even just leave it as it is and st fit stuff underneath the seats. Um, if you take stuff out, then you can fit bikes, canoes, everything in there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and another kind of a follow-up point on that, all the cargo's enclosed, it's out of the weather, it's relatively safe from you know, wind damage or any other kind of damage. Uh, so that's a great advantage of a van versus a pickup truck is just all that cargo space. Um, these seats are removable so we can take them out and carry things like Mary Kate said, like kayaks and bikes, and it makes for a great weekend adventure. Yep. One of the other pluses that we think about with the, the van is just frankly, it's not as attractive to thieves. Um, certainly pickup trucks have a reputation, certain brands, especially for being easy to break into. Um, and they're worth more, you know, a pickup truck might be $80,000, a brand new one. Uh, the van works for us and, and it's just frankly, um, not quite as attractive to thieves. Oh, okay. Um, in one week at a campground in Texas, um, two different families got their pickup trucks stolen. Um, maybe possibly it was an inside job. I don't know, but, um, they weren't coming after 15 passenger vans, that's for sure. Okay, so another thing we like about the van is the mileage is okay. Um, it's maybe not as good as some diesel trucks out there, but when we're towing, we get about eight and a quarter, eight and a half gallon, miles per gallon. Um, and when we're not towing, it's, it's decent. Yeah. I think uh, we heard somebody was getting about 11 miles to the gallon with a diesel truck and they were yeah. pulling something smaller than us, less, yeah. less lightweight. So I think that's actually comparatively pretty good. Not too bad.
what is your thoughts about how roomy the van is? I think it makes it great depending on how many people there are. When it's just the five of us, there's a lot of room. Everybody gets their own space. You can stretch out, take a nap if you need to. You can put all your uh, travel things that you need, things like coloring books or uh, iPods or things like that. Um, it's just, it's just, it, and also if there's a lot of people, we can hold a lot more. Uh, it makes it good for stowing things like cargo. Hey Faith, does everyone usually sit in a certain bench or do you just choose each time you get in? It just kind of depends who gets there first because there is one best bench. And Wh which one would you say is the best bench? It's the second one. This one right here behind Damon? Oh yeah. <laughs> what, guys, <laughs> what are some things you don't like about the van? Um, I guess it's just unwieldy. The it's hard to get holders. in a lot of places. Oh, the cup holder. Yeah, okay, cup what? Holder. Not enough cup holders? Two and very small. Yeah, they okay. fit nothing. They, like, nothing fits in those cup holders. And the air conditioning is not the best, honestly. Okay. It's way Better too powerful. It's way too powerful. Too though. cold, too powerful? Yeah. Okay. So we talked about what we like about the van. Mayor, what are some things we don't like? Um, so it, it really, it just looks like a church van or a clean people van or something yeah. like that. It's just not that cool. It's pragmatic and functional, but it's not cool. No. No. Um, no. I would say one of the things that I miss or I think is a disadvantage is we don't have four by four. And you know, there are places where you could camp, if, especially if you're off grid or boondocking where you know, sometimes it's a dirt road or, or a gravel road, and it would be great to have that extra protection of 4x4 four four to get yeah. in, the, in and out. Yeah. Um, it's it's difficult to park, even, you know, when you're not towing a trailer. Um, we could do it because we were used to it, but um, it really, you know, parallel parking this thing or finding a parking garage that fits something this tall, it's, it's not that great when it's disconnected. No. <laughs> so, and another thing, it's just not as comfortable or quiet as a car when you're driving. Right. Um, road noise is high the insulation isn't as good you know it's it's kind of an industrial van or commercial vehicle is what right. they're really built for and right. and they're just not insulated as well right. and not as comfortable it's a bumpy ride yeah yeah i'd say the seats aren't horrible um you know comparatively you're sitting up more which i think is better for you right. you know like for your back if you have back troubles but um they're not you know they're just not as comfortable as some luxury cars and and honestly even some luxury trucks look pretty nice too yeah yeah so the other thing is that um this is only a bumper tow. We can't tow a fifth wheel. Um, and in a pickup truck, you can definitely tow a fifth wheel. Yeah. Um, so that's a problem if we ever want to um, upgrade yeah. to a fifth wheel. If we which, ever want to make a change. Which we'd like to. Yeah. So um, that means that you have to change up everything. Like and subscribe! My own web show. My own web show. Everybody want to know. My own web show. My own web show. My own web show How will it go? My own web show My own web show My own web show Everybody wanna know My own web show